Hi, I'm Mark LaRochelle from Productive Computing. Today I want to talk about plugin external script steps, which is a new feature presented in FileMaker 16. To get an idea of what I'm talking about, if you go to the FileMaker website, there's a page called FileMaker Pro Version Comparison, and there you can see some of the new FileMaker Pro 16 features. This feature in particular is called external script steps. And if you read that, it says extend the capabilities of third-party plugins with support for external script steps in the FileMaker plugin SDK. So I wanted to explore that a little bit more and show you what that is firsthand. So the plugin architecture has traditionally not been supported with iOS and FileMaker Go. However, if you bundle your FileMaker file and create a FileMaker app by way of the iOS SDK, you can, in fact, bundle plugins with that. And those plugins are called via these external script steps, which happen at the script layer instead of just at the calc layer. So some other side benefits of this architecture is that now those plugin calls are at the script level. So they're more prominently placed, easier to find, especially for new users. In addition, calling a plugin at the script step level is a little better than calling it at strictly the calc level. And for those of you who've worked with plugins, you probably know what I'm talking about, but there's a lot of different things that plugins can do. And if you call them at a script layer, you're, the, the entire environment is more protected and it's easier to do error trapping at that level versus the calc engine level. And an overall better user experience. So without further ado, let's take a look at that right now. Here I have a FileMaker file created on a Macintosh using FileMaker 16, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new script. I'll call it my script. And traditionally, plugins have been called using either the set field script step or maybe the set variable script step. And you know, at that point, you'd either want to return an error or maybe some result, and then you would call that plugin within the calc engine here. And traditionally, you can go here and filter these functions by external and then you'll see here the address book manipulator and all its functions showing up and you would add the function here into the calc engine and then you would type this in like so and that's how you would program plugins and you're down at this level the new way of doing it is or i should say the the way that the external script steps work is that you wouldn't to find a variable here in your scripts, you'd have these script steps available directly in the at the script level. So you can see here that it actually defines the address book manipulator as a script step. Now, in order to get this functionality, the plugin manufacturer has to, you know, take the extra effort to put this availability there. But once they do, um, like we've done with all our plugins, you can offer this sort of functionality at the script level, which is a pretty cool way of, of programming plugins. And it, all, it also makes it a little easier for the user to find and work with. It seems more natural, like a script versus a function. So if I take that same command, which is the PCAB add address, you'll notice that it uh, allows me to define that using this new user interface here, which um, I can then depict the results in, in a more friendly way. So I can pick a field and go about it that way. I have the ability to search and filter my fields if I had a lot of fields I wanted to do. So because this field, this particular box is now available. Now this box isn't specific to the plugin thing we're talking about. This is specific to FileMaker 16 or above. But the fact is we can now program plugins taking advantage of this new user interface. Likewise, besides fields, you can call the variable immediately that way. And then you can define the rest of your plugin elements uh, using this new user interface. So that's what it looks like with a brand new file and, and it presents itself here at that level as a script step, which is uh, a great way of doing plugin programming. So let me close this file and I have here a completed demo file for the uh, address book manipulator plugin, which allows us to move data back and forth between Apple's contacts. and uh, in that demo, and in any of our demos, you'll find that we've actually gone ahead and programmed the scripts. In addition to the scripts that we had that do it at the calc level, we now have scripts that do it at the script level. So 
uh, and you can see here we've commented that out so I can call any of these scripts and you can get an idea of how we're taking advantage of scripts and script steps to do the work of a plugin. It also makes it a little bit more readable because now when you're looking at your script and you're going down and what you would normally see here under this PCAB search is you'd see set variable. And then you'd have to dig in to get more details about what that set variable is doing. Now because it's a script step I can immediately see all the plugin functions as they're generated here. Likewise I can go ahead and call this window to open and just like we saw before I have a nice user interface to define my plugin variables. In addition to having the specify boxes we can have things like a, a value list like this on a, in the form of a drop down menu or a pick list. We can introduce things like radio buttons and check boxes as well. So it gives us manufacturers some new and interesting ways to present this data and hopefully it gives users and developers a better and easier way to work with plugins. So these are the side effects for how this whole external script step thing works. And hopefully you learned some from that. So feel free to download any of our demos and we have examples of this. As of today, all our plugins are compatible with external script steps. So let's take a look at a completed script in action. Here we've defined a script using this new method called pull contacts. And you can see here that through various places we're calling actual script steps that call the plugin. Here we have the open first record, here we have the open next record, and so forth. So this is all using the new technique. What I've done here is I've put a button called import all contacts. This is a new button that calls the script that we just looked at versus the old way of doing it and the old script. So this new script should do the same exact thing. Yes. So it pulled the one contact I had from my Apple contacts. Let's go check that out. Yeah, so here it is in the Apple contacts. So this data just got pulled into FileMaker using the new technique and the new method. One last thing to make note of that the plugins, even though they're using this new methodology and the new methodology works with FileMaker 16 or above, we've maintained all the existing functions so that we're backwards compatible to all the previous versions that we were in FileMaker. So for those of you who've already used the plugins for years and years and have um, in enjoyed the functionality with previous versions of FileMaker, all of that stuff will continue to work. This is just moving forward. You have an additional option to use script steps to call these plugins versus just the functions as you've known them. Thank you.